Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to navigate the Minecraft homepage. Uh, the reason being is there's a lot of people out there who have, might have come away from Minecraft and now they're coming back to it and it's got the whole new launcher and they're unsure on how to do things. So this tutorial is basically going to show you how to navigate the Minecraft homepage. So I know there's a lot of you out there who do know it, but this is simply for people who don't. So if you've got a friend who's new to Minecraft, feel free to show them this tutorial because it's going to cover everything on the homepage. So assuming you have Minecraft installed and you have a premium, a premium account, you want to open up your Minecraft and it should and log in so that you're onto this screen that I've got open here. Now I'll quickly um, talk about the uh, the launcher itself. So up at the top here you've got the update note, so it will show you all the most recent updates. So today at the point of recording this, Minecraft 1.7.5 has come out and it tells you what's been added. Um, you can scroll all the way down and then you can click older and you can go through all of that. The development console is basically um, your like the the console for what's happening in Minecraft. So when I log in, if I was to go into the development console whilst I was logging in, it would come up with loads of lines saying what it's doing. The profile editor is something I'm not going to even worry about. Same with the local uh, local version editor. They're just not really there to worry about. Um, I believe like it's the same as what the bottom left hand side is just in a whole different tab so we're not going to worry about them too much so first of all is what I'll show you here that you've got different is you've now got profiles now on here uh, you can see that I've only got one profile but if I was to uh, click on new profile it'll open up this screen that we've got here so we're going to call this uh, profile um, video help um, and basically I'll quickly run through what we've got here so you've got your game directory now this is where Minecraft is stored so if you're for some reason your game's not working you might want to find out where your game's been saved and it could be different to where it's being displayed here however more often than not it does go to for Windows people it does go to your C drive and then users then yourself app data roaming and then it'll be in there so that's normally where Minecraft does get installed um, and this box should doesn't really need to ever be ticked. The resolution is what you're going to be playing Minecraft in. Don't need to worry about that too much. But if you want to downgrade it, you can downgrade it how you see and feel wish. Um, automatically ask Mojang is, uh, for assistance with fixing crashes. Um, as far as I'm aware, this doesn't really do much at the moment. Uh, more often than not, it just offers uh, to, gives you the pay like the crash in the development console, and then you can give that across to Mojang. Um, you. I, you can have this on or off and basically is what you can do this is the launch that we've got open here so you can choose to have you can choose to hide the launcher and reopen when the game uh, and, and reopen when the game closes so when you launch the game the the when the games are running the launcher will disappear and then when you close the game the launcher will come back which is what I normally have it on um, or you can have it so that the launcher just closes when the game starts and then when you close the game it won't be there at all or you can keep the launcher open. Now the launcher is good, um, as I say, for the development console. So if you're having problems with a certain mod or something like that, it's a good way to find out what's going wrong and where. So we're just going to leave that on for hide launcher and then reopen when the game closes. And now this is where uh, Minecraft has got better in a way. A lot of people didn't like the, the changes that were made to the launcher, but this is where Minecraft gets good. So here we've got the version selections and now you've got a few things that you can do you can enable experimental development versions so if we tick that box it's going to ask you <coughs> excuse me it's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to enable development builds now the reason being is because if you use a development build it could potentially wreck your world so it does say to make sure you run regular backups and I'll show you in my next video how to make a backup of Minecraft so we're going to say are you sure you want to continue yes and then it will do the same for use old beta versions and then use old alpha versions. So if you want to go back and use an old beta version or an old alpha version, just tick those boxes, press OK, the same dialog box will come up and then you just go to this box that you see here where it says use version and it will now give you a list of all the versions that you can use all the way from 1.0 up to 14W08A which is was released at the beginning of, uh, at the end of last week I think. Um, so here you can literally choose any version you want so we're going to uh, for this new profile for the video help we're going to choose the snapshot 14w08a um, the executable is not something you need to worry about um, currently 
um, I believe that's just where your Java is stored. So you just that should be set up automatically as long as you've got Java installed, that should be fine. Now this is where you can change the JVM arguments, is where you can change the amount of RAM that Minecraft running. To do that, you just simply tick this box so that you can write in it. And basically, you see the number here, that allows you to change the amount of RAM you're running. So currently, I'm running 1 gigabytes of RAM. Um, if you want to change it to megabytes, it's not really suggested. But if you do, you just, I believe, you change it to um, the number to 1,000. Like, so it would be 1,000M. So that way, you can do 1.5 would be 1,500M. But for the sake of keeping things simple, if I was you, I'd try to stick it and keep it with gigabytes. So say I wanted to run... Uh, three gigabytes of Minecraft RAM. It's all I've got to do is take away the one and put the three in. So once you've sorted all this out and you've set it up how you want it to, uh, we're going to click Save Profile. Now, if we go down into the Profiles tab here, we've now got a new one called Video Help. When I click this, it says Ready to Download in the bottom right here. It says Ready to Download and Play Minecraft 14W08A. So when I click Play, it will load up Minecraft and it will be the version 14W08A. Now the reason this has a lot of benefits is because you can now set up multiple things and you don't have to worry about, um, with the old Minecraft launcher you had to literally drag and drop files like from folders the whole entire time to have like to change your mods around or your, your clients around. So now is all you simply have to do is pretty much you just have to select a new profile. And if you're not happy with the profile that you're using, so if I want to change my Naughty Alex profile back to a 1.4, is all I've got to do is just change it into here release 1.7.4, save profile, and it will now change to download and play Minecraft 1.7.4. It doesn't have to download every time that you do it, it just has to download it the first time, then once you've downloaded it the first time, it's downloaded forever. That's all there is to cover on the Minecraft launcher. Obviously, once you've then set it all up, is all you have to do is click play. There should never be any problems if you're running vanilla Minecraft, no mods. You should never have any crashes or anything, but if you do, feel free to ask, and I'll try to help you out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, as I say, if you've got a friend who's new to Minecraft or you haven't played Minecraft for a while, um, this should help you out. This should let you know the, the Minecraft uh, launch screen. I uh, thank you guys for watching and in the next episode we're going to be uh, seeing how we can run a Minecraft backup.